Welcome back. The purpose of our video tonight is to say thank you. At the footsteps of our first 1,000 subscribers, we'd like to take this time to say thank you. Over the past 18 months, it has been a tremendous experience. And only with your support and encouragement has any of this been possible. We owe it all to you. We really do. Now, as much as we truly cherish all the positive feedback, and there's been a lot of it, uh, we want to know the negative, the constructive criticism. What can we do better? Your feedback can help us improve this channel. Are the charts easy to read? Are the numbers and dates visible? We know some of you may watch our videos on a laptop or a smartphone. Are the concepts easy to grasp? Do you prefer a black background chart or maybe something like a multicolored chart that we haven't used in quite a while? What kind of topics would you like us to discuss? Economic numbers like the consumer price index, GDP, or non-farm payroll? The unconventional topics like inverted bond markets, mortgage spreads, and Google trends? Or perhaps technical analysis like moving averages, Bollinger Bands, chart reading techniques? Do you have interest in other markets like small cap stocks, commodities, foreign exchange, cryptocurrencies, the futures and options market or overseas markets? What else out there are we leaving out? In terms of our Substack newsletter, we tend to try to dive deeply into some more advanced topics, things like the inverted bond market, the business cycle, hard versus soft landings, the real cost of inflation and our most recent publication, good job numbers versus a bad labor market. Are these the type of topics you like to read about? Is there something else that we should include? In terms of our Twitter page, we haven't really been very active at all. What type of updates would you find most helpful throughout the day? What would make the best channel? Our goal is to discuss economics in the most objective manner possible and to gain an easy understanding of the economy so that we can make the best possible investment in financial decisions without bias. In an ideal world, what would you like to see? If you could design a channel that discusses markets and economics, what is it that we could do that would make this channel better? Please let us know in the comments of this video. We truly appreciate all of your feedback. But most importantly, thank you.